The ratings bonanza that has brought Channel 10 back to life, all thanks to Jackie. Oh, no? I don't think Too I much? can take Too credit much? for that at all, Kyle. Okay, right. Well, she's one of the many uh, people that appear on there. All thanks to Jackie, uh, Lindsay, uh, Danny, uh, Husey and Osha. The first person to knock their head off themselves on this show was Gretel Colleen, and I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. What? I, who would have thought Gretel Colleen had the voice of an angel? Yeah, we did not know when she joined us in studio now. Hi, Gretel. Gretel. Hello. Yes, it is the one and only voice of an angel. <laughs> oh, you were great. I honestly was so shocked when you took off your mask. I don't know if you saw my reaction, but I think I said, Gretel Colleen! <laughs> and that was meant in a good way because yeah. I thought, Gretel never does... No, it does... wasn't. That was meant as I've never heard her. I didn't know she could sing. It way. sounded a bit more like, Gretel Colleen... Let her in. Not at all. <laughs> I was really impressed with your performance and the courage it takes to do that show. Yeah, because I think there are non singers in it. Yes. And even I don't know who the people participating are. You know, yeah. we're oh, legal. Oh, really? Oh, no, we're completely legaled up to our eyeball. Oh, you're yeah. not all sitting in the back room like a Disney ca- staff cafe yeah. where everyone's got their heads off, all <laughs> smoking and drinking coffee. Snow White and, and Daffy yeah. and whatever. <laughs> There's one moment uh, which. Where we all sing together, yeah, and we're That's not coming allowed. Up. Yeah, we're yeah. not allowed to talk to anyone. So even in that moment when we were all in the same room with the monster and the alien and the whatever, we are not allowed to speak. You have no idea who the other person is. No, wow. and I'm trying to spy. Of course, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to. Who were those? Even when we're not in costume, as as you would know, Jackie, we're completely covered. Like we've got a big black doona over our head. Well, there's a lot I don't know, Gretel, because <laughs> being on the panel, we're completely separated from your side of things, and we would hear stories about how they're locked in their own private room, and literally the door opens and food gets no, given to them, just, like you're um, in prison or something. Yeah, just just, just to <laughs> clarify that, it's not a private room, it's a shed. We got, <laughs> oh. you, 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 you know what they made it out to be? Like men in black pods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was so funny. There, you get picked up from a secret place. I can't tell you all of the details, obviously. Yes, of as soon as you're in the secret place, you have to, in the car, you have to put cover yourself up, then you get driven in. Yep. And then no one is allowed to see you. And of course, for someone who likes a chat, yeah, like that would me, be hard for you. my poor security guard, because he's the only person I can talk to, he'd add his ear, just <laughs> bad stuff. <laughs> I made him do warm-up exercises with me in the car because I said, I'm not going to do vocal warm-ups by myself. So, he's, you know, he's been to Afghanistan or wherever he has as a security guard and he's going, rom, 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 all the way. Look, he was very sweet. And I do understand with Whitney why she fell in love with her bodyguard. Bodyguard. Because oh, you become really? very dependent there, your So you two are in a relationship now or no? Well, I, Carl, you would know I would consider that a relationship, <laughs> uh, but um, <laughs> no, others probably wouldn't. And, and you know, I have to say one, one time I snuck into a dressing room. And to steal things. No, you can't help I, yourself, can you? I know. What? What and I saw in your mask in there and I tried it on. Because oh, I wanted to know nits. what's it like for you. Yeah. And nit, there were no nits in there. <laughs> fake tan now. marks for sure, though. Yeah. There'd be fake tan marks <laughs> all over that thing. I was just amazed at how very little you can see out of those masks. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we're talking really very little vision at all. Yeah. And I think that's really important for everybody watching the show. as The costumes are magnificent and beautifully designed. Mm. But some people... It's so physically difficult. Their heads are so heavy, yep. particularly for the girls. You know, if you're in your boots, it's really hard to dance. You actually tip over. So that's why you've got people holding you. You can't see anything. So for the non-singers, we've got that super-duper challenge. Yep. One, standing upright. And two, overcoming sheer fear. And you can't see the audience because it's black anyway. So you know, you, you've got to imagine you are literally have no vision. You're in these high heels. You're on a stage that's really high up. It's yeah. a, it's Is a it claustrophobic? Form. Yeah, completely. So and so, so some people suffered from that, and it can be very hot. So some people have fans in their yep in their he- in their head. They've got a little in fans their head. Them. They've yeah. got and, fans. And some people um, thought, well, that's impossible that they're actually singing. I just need everybody to know that, unfortunately, yes, we are actually singing inside them because a mate of mine does the audio, and they're 
geniuses, these guys. The microphone is in their tape to your face. Yep. And then the helmet is put on and it is like singing in a cave, but they have to adjust all the acoustics. So it's They did a good job when you yeah. think that you're singing. Like everyone sounds amazing. And the, the microphone we see is just a prop. So a lot of people yep. go, oh, the microphone wasn't to her mouth when she was singing. Clearly they're lip syncing. But people don't understand don't, the magic of television. They, they <laughs> don't understand magic for yeah. No, they don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was so, I'm really excited by the people who are non-singers doing it. Yeah. I just think that's such a blast. And Brett came out yep. the second yes. one. And, you know, I think we're the stars, quite frankly. Yeah. You are? <laughs> yeah, no, too, definitely. If you're no, not a you, singer by trade, that's one of the hardest things you could do. Are you a karaoke type the behind the scenes that no one ever knew? I wasn't, but I will be now. Oh, I'm, right. I'm glad. Do you know, I, you know how perhaps I have a rampant ego previously undiscovered, but it did occur to me <laughs> prior to being eliminated first, it did occur to me that maybe I'd end up in Eurovision. Yeah. Oh, but, well, yeah. look now, <laughs> talk about delusions of grandeur. I know, it got quashed as soon as they said I had to leave. And Jackie, really, why didn't you use your power to keep me in? I'm trying to think who I voted for because there was a lot. Our votes and the audience votes count for 50 50, right? Oh, uh, here's her trying to d- yeah, divert the. Yeah, no, no, blame seriously, the I genuinely loved your performance. And oh, I yeah. was telling the other guys I loved that because I loved that rendition of fame that you did. And I think you mentioned that you didn't get you to. You never choose- mentioned it to me. Yeah, well, you went yeah, around or me. that day. Or me. <laughs> I didn't get to talk to you. We don't even get to talk to you this afterwards. This is a woman who sneaks into other people's dressing rooms yes. and tries on their clothes. I know, I know, right? Did you take some of my cash? Because I had a lot <laughs> of money in my She bag. would have. She would have. <laughs> Look, it's awesome. It's great. The show's great. What What made you say yes to it? How did they pitch it to you? Um, They... They asked me if I would do it. And you know if you're having a bit of a sugar low, you're vulnerable and you just say yes Yes. to things. But the other thing is what's really important to me now is I do use my voice to give voice a voice to other people. Yep. So I'm just back from a trek in Kenya, which was for um, advocating for young people with disability. Yep. So I earn money doing something like this wacky show or speaking or books or whatever else it is. And then that gives me the time and space to then follow other, literally your... use my voice yeah. to help other people. So that's really important. And as I mentioned in the show, so that was with Young Kevin. I love doing that. But as I mentioned on the show, I think being brave is so important. And you guys know at the coalface, Everybody is trying to make us smaller, just small, neat, little controllable versions of ourselves. And, and people get frustrated and unhappy and anxious and depressed. The way, one way to alleviate that is to expand and see what you're really made of. And I'm clearly not really made as a singer, but that's yeah, okay that's because true. every barrier that you push past allows you to be more capable for the next one. Were you at least relieved though? See, I know you were the first out, but everyone sounded so good. So it wasn't like there was, you know, anyone that was terrible. I thought the others were a bit (laughs) bad, really. Um, (laughs) I I was very happy with my run, like really, really happy. I was really happy to get in, have that experience and get out because after that, my goodness, I mean, not only is there physical challenges of the costumes, but the turnaround, because as you know, Jackie, it was something like... um, all 10 shows are shot in three weeks and yep. that's with rehearsal days and all the performers have to get their new songs, their new yeah, choreography. Yeah, it's intense, right? Like imagine how hard that is. So yep. I just managed to swan in, make national history, <laughs> get out. And swan out. And sw- you and, did well, it the right way. Octopus out anyway. Octopus out. <laughs> and do you think Big Brother should come back and would you host Big Brother should Channel 10 decide to do that? I think... Big Brother, well, you would know this, Carl, although you corrupted the whole thing. But <laughs> I, I ruined, I ruined, you ruined every, it. I ruined a lot of things, have you noticed? <laughs> I think the essence of Big Brother is brilliant mm. because when we first started that show, it was about just watching humans interact yeah. without interference, just seeing what humans do. And, and that is fantastic. It wasn't who's going to win or who's... It was just let's see what relationships form and how people pass their time and converse. And I think watching ourselves is something we could actually learn from now. Yeah. I think this is a time of analysis and introspection and, and redefining our values. So I think it would be a hoot. I guess the question is, and you guys will be across this, that reality TV can attract a different kind of person now 
who wants yeah. to be famous. And so perhaps that level of um, purity, has, maybe the time has passed. Yeah. I think you're right. The, the purity you? part is gone. I think that, yeah, from from the first couple of seasons... Because you remember what, what you were talking about. That was what that's that's what was fascinating about it. Then all the fame whores went in there. Yeah, but maybe that's a matter of casting and, yeah. and yeah. redefining what what the value system is and what we're trying to achieve from it. I think looking at ourselves is brilliant, and you know that's one of the reasons I think Masked Singer is fantastic because it's a game. It's not a competition. Yeah. And I, I really would love people to stress that it's a game that everyone could play. There are no winners or losers. No. It's just. Wow, they're giving it a go. That's and right. and I think that's a really beautiful message for everyone. Give it a go. Have a sense of humour about yourself. It really doesn't matter. You fall on your ass, you do whatever. Yeah. You're giving it a go and that's what we need to give a big tick to. Good on you. Good God on you, you love. forget how lovely you are. Oh, uh, Kyle. Yes, yeah, I no, am. You are. <laughs> You're and, so lovely. And can I just ask Jackie, speaking of lovely, are you enjoying judging? Loving it. Why? Why am I enjoying this so, so much? <laughs> no, because I love and goes back to what you say. I love a guessing game. It real. I became so obsessed with it. And how could you not have fun on this show with the performances? I think the music and the costumes. It's like you say. It's light fun. And have you got any goss on your fellow panel there? I um, mean, Husey. Fibber from way back. <laughs> he said <laughs> that he was only with you a couple of days before. It's when- incredible. You should know you never showed us a Tommy anything because we were together the few nights before. We were not. No. We were just you? No. <laughs> It's a complete. <laughs> he was telling us all, I can't believe it. I was just hanging out with her two days ago. No, I think he's got a mental problem. Oh. No, I'm joking. He's oh, delightful. I 100% he's got a mental problem. <laughs> no, we delightful. all do, let's face it. He's delightful, but he made that up. But any, any goss on oh. Lindsay or Danny? Any goss? There's no. Well, Danny's so. Danny keeps her cards close to her chest. Oh, she's. Yeah, she's. Lindsay Such a broke. She told us uh, last week she broke. She her and her boyfriend broke up. Like because she kept oh. ringing the show. I thought she was blind, but apparently Jackie said no, she's not. No, um, she's just in she, Dubai. It's a di- it's a time difference thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's and also, but she well, broke up, and, and I asked her if she'd yeah. broken up with a prince or not, and uh, she was just like, "Oh, we just broke up." But I, I don't think she heard me say prince. Yeah, I but think she'd broken up with the boyfriend just hours before she was on the phone to us. You do realize Dubai is not famous for its princes. They're no. Shakes. Yeah, right. but whatever they are. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? Showing a, g- a good understanding of global hierarchy. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not your go to no, global he's... expert. Actually, I'm not your expert on pretty much anything, I've no, realized. No, but, but a shallow understanding of everything is all yes, it takes. Yes, yes. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's how, I've, that's how I've swam through life so far, anyway. You're well, actually... look, it's a shame you're not on there. Yeah, great. Oh, no, it's so great. And I thought your costume was awesome. Well, I can take no credit for that. I know, that, you didn't get to than, choose it, apparently. No, no, other than standing upright. That's what I can mention. You look great. On my face. Well, thanks for coming <laughs> on, Gretel. I appreciate it. It's back on TV tonight, uh, 7.30 on Channel 10. Nice to see you again, Gret. Yeah, you thanks, too. Gretel. Thanks, Gretel. Gretel Colleen on the air this morning. Jack's got some own news coming up soon, everyone.